the Czech armed forces become a mere German subdivision. But in the next several months each country will integrate one brigade into the German armed forces, Romania's 81st mechanized brigade will join the Bundeswehr's rapid response forces division, while the Czech 4th rapid deployment brigade, which has served in Afghanistan and Kosovo and was considered the Czech army's spearhead force, will become part of the Germans' 10th armored division. In doing so, they'll follow in the footsteps of two Dutch brigades, one of which has already joined the Bundeswehr's Rapid Response Forces Division and another that has been integrated into the Bundeswehr's 1st Armored Division. According to Carlo Masala, a professor of international politics at the University of the Bundeswehr in Munich, the German government is showing that it's willing to proceed with European military integration, even if others on the continent aren't yet. European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker has repeatedly floated the idea of an EU army, only to be met with either ridicule or awkward silence. That remains the case even as the UK, a perennial foe of the idea, is on its way out of the Union. There's little agreement among remaining member states over what exactly such a force would look like and which capabilities national armed forces would give up as a result. And so progress has been slow going. This March. The European Union created a joint military headquarters, but it's only in charge of training missions in Somalia, Mali, and the Central African Republic and has a meager staff of 30. Other multinational concepts have been designed, such as the Nordic Battle Group, a small 2,400 troop rapid reaction force formed by the Baltic states and several Nordic countries and the Netherlands, and Britain's Joint Expeditionary Force, a mini NATO whose members include the Baltic states. Sweden, and Finland. But in the absence of suitable deployment opportunities, such operations-based teams may as well not exist. But under the bland label of the framework nations concept, Germany has been at work on something far more ambitious, the creation of what is essentially a Bundeswehr-led network of European mini armies. Since then the Bundeswehr has grown to more than 178,000 active duty troops. Last year the government increased funding by 4.2%, and this year defense spending will grow by 8%. But Germany still lags far behind France and the UK as a military power. And boosting defense spending is not uncontroversial in Germany, which is wary of its history as a military power. Of course, since 1945 Germany has been extraordinarily reluctant to deploy its military abroad until 1990 even barring the Bundeswehr from foreign deployments. Indeed, junior partners, and potential junior partners, hope that the framework nation's arrangement will make Germany take on more responsibility for European security. So far, Germany and its multinational mini-armies remain only that, small-scale initiatives, far removed from a full-fledged European army. But the initiative is likely to grow. Germany's partners have been touting the practical benefits of integration, for Romania and the Czech Republic, it means bringing their troops to the same level of training as the German military, for the Netherlands, it has meant regaining tank capabilities.